Hey guys and welcome to a new vlog. As you can see I'm in a bit of a different background because I'm currently in Agra. So we've come to India and we decided to come over to Agra for two days to see the Taj Mahal and we're staying at this stunning, stunning property by Obero called the Amar Villas. Um, so we've come here, I've come with my in-laws and it was a very spontaneous trip but I am so excited to see the Taj Mahal. I've come to India so many times but we never actually get around to seeing it. So I thought I would bring you along with me for the ride. So without further ado, I want to get started with this vlog, but before that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There are new videos every week on my YouTube channel, so do stay tuned for those. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well for lots of updates of this trip, and let's get straight into the vlog. so amazing here we can actually see the Taj Mahal from our room so I definitely want to show you that view and the hotel is so so stunning we just got in I quickly got ready and we're gonna head for lunch because I was starving it was about a two actually three hour journey from Delhi we flew in last night and then we um, traveled the whole way here this morning and yeah so now it's lunch and we've just quickly come to the room and gotten ready taken a shower and stuff and I just quickly want to show you around and then we're gonna pop downstairs for lunch but I will start with the view actually because that's the best bit of this room. So guys, this is our balcony and that over there is the Taj Mahal. The view is incredible and the gardens of the hotel are so nice. Let me just pop here so I can show you. We've got a beautiful pool over there which I'm so excited to go to. It is really boiling hot here right now. Um, but I think it would be really nice to get into the pool. So today we're going to go and see the Taj Mahal, but tomorrow I'm hoping to be able to spend some time in the pool in the evening when it's a little bit cooler. And then tomorrow we're going to go to the spa as well because we've got an amazing spa and I think I'm going to get like a body wrap and an exfoliation treatment done. So I'm super excited to try that out. And we might go and see a um, fort that they have here, which is really beautiful as well. Agra has lots of monuments to visit. So I'm excited to see it. It looks like a very beautiful place. Like obviously, the streets and stuff, um, they're not so well taken care of in some parts, but the monuments are absolutely stunning. And this hotel is just honestly one of the nicest hotels I've stayed in. By the way, guys, can you see my tan? I use the Saint Tropez, the water mousse one, and it's like the one that you can sleep in and it doesn't stain your clothes at all. I've spoken about it in favorites video before, but honestly, I love the golden glow it gives you. It honestly looks amazing. I was so kind of yellowy, whitey, because in London it's just not been that nice that I want to come with a bit of a tan here to um, India where it's so warm. But actually here, people hate being tanned, so it's quite funny that I actually put on fake tan and people here hate being tanned. But yeah, anyways, back to the hotel. Let's go back into the room so I can show you what that looks like. Back into the room now. Um, because apparently there's loads of mosquitoes, so they ask you to close the door. So I'm going to do that. And then we've got this couch area here with the footrest. I love that beige color, by the way. I wish I could get one like that for my house. And then we've got the king-sized bed, which is really nice. And then we've got a little desk over here. And these are the beautiful flower garlands they welcomed us with when we got to the hotel. They smell really lovely. Um, and then here we've got the TV. Um, and then if we go through here, we have a nice walk-in wardrobe. It's a bit of a mess, sorry guys, we've just kind of quickly unpacked to get ready. Um, and I love the gowns, by the way, guys. Instead of like um, bath gowns, they have these, and these are so nice. They're made out of silk, but they're so, so beautiful. Um, and then here, we have the toilet. There's a bit of my makeup over there. And I should my sunglasses off. <laughs> and I love this turquoise color, it's really, really cool. And then we have the bathtub over there. And then we've got a bigger shower here. 
Okay guys, so I'm gonna head for lunch now because my in-laws and my husband are waiting for me downstairs but I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit of the day. I'm wearing these for art's sake sunglasses which I absolutely love. They are so great. You guys always ask me about this ones when I wear them on my Instagram, when I wear them on my YouTube and I got these a couple of years ago but they're still in stock in Harvey Nichols or you can get them online. I will pop a link below but I absolutely love them. I don't know if you can see them here but they're really funky. I get so many compliments when I wear these. They've got like the gold hardware and then they've got this here bit that's like a marbled effect um, and it's like a bluish color but they're still very neutral so they go with everything and they've got like a little bit of this cat eye shape but they're really really funky and then I'm wearing my um, trusty um, Gucci bag which I love to kind of travel around and wear crossbody and then I'm wearing this dress which is something a bit different for me I don't usually go for these slinky kind of dresses because I just feel like they hold on to the wrong parts of your body but this one is amazing it's actually from a collection that another blogger did which is lovely pepper um, I'll link down her website and I was actually quite hesitant to order stuff just because you know when I've never tried a brand I don't like to order online just because I think what well, of the quality is not nice um, but I actually took the plunge and I have to say the quality is amazing the fabric is so nice it's cotton but it just kind of clings onto the right places. It doesn't kind of mark your underwear or anything. It's thick enough that it doesn't show anything, but at the same time, it's very kind of thin and summery and very, very, very comfortable. I love that it's got the slit, um, and then I'm wearing my Aquazura Powder Puff Flat. Um, but yeah, the dress is just so, so comfortable. I think you can definitely dress it up for the night. You can wear it with like a blazer on top. You can wear it with like a short blazer that's maybe a bit sparkly for the evening. I love it with like a white t-shirt inside. So I think I'm gonna get so much wear out of this and it's so comfortable. Um, and yeah, like you can see it just kind of, I don't know if you can see very well because I can't stand too far, but it just gives you a beautiful silhouette. I really, really like it. So, yeah, anyway, I'm rambling. So I'm gonna go get some lunch and I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I just thought I would show you quickly the outfit of the day here, because you can probably see it much better than you could in my room. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the dress just fits so nicely. It just hugs onto the right places and it's so comfy. Stunning, stunning, stunning gardens um, with the fountains. I absolutely love this. I didn't bring my good camera with me because um, this was such a spontaneous trip, but I wish I had because it's so amazing. It is so, honestly so beautiful. Um, but I wish I could take some like gorgeous pictures back there. I just kind of get over this guys, it's so stunning. Anyway, we've had lunch now. Um, I showed you some clips probably. Oh, we had the best um, dosa. It's like an Indian thing. It's like a it's like a sort of crepe, but it's fried. It's quite crispy. And then it was stuffed with like lamb to mince in a curry. Oh, it was gorgeous. And then I didn't want to have something too heavy after that. So I had some salmon. But the food was absolutely delicious. And now we're all full, we're all ready to go. We're gonna book our spa treatment really quickly. And then we're gonna go and see the Taj Mahal. So I'll take you along for the ride. So guys, we're in the Taj Mahal, which is gonna go in through the main gate. Um, and it's quite crowded, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. So I'm excited to see what it looks like inside. There it is, guys, the Taj Mahal. It's so stunning. There's gardens there and there's the water that goes in the morning. There it is guys. It is honestly such a stunning view and it's such a shame I can't get good pictures because there's so many people but I hope you can see well. Look at how 
I'm not going to that. Um, so, behind me, guys, is the foundation of another Taj Mahal that was about to be built by the um, Shah Jahan, who was the emperor who built the original Taj Mahal. And he was supposed to build that as a tomb for himself. He built this one for his wife, but he wants to build one for himself, and that's actually why his son put him in jail because he didn't want him to spend more money and he wanted to build that one there and it was supposed to be a black Taj Mahal which he was going to get the marble from Belgium form which is going to be even more expensive than this one so there you go, a little fact of the day for you guys This guys, as you can see from here, it looks like it goes down in the middle you see there's like a line there but actually it's all a straight flat surface you go here and it's to look straight. Um, when you see the Taj Mahal from far, they look like they're completely straight pillars. But actually, um, they're not. They're a tilted 2.5 degrees like this outwards, so that if there was an earthquake, the pillars would fall towards the outside rather than to the inside of the building. We had a really good tour guide who gave us a lot of facts about this place, so I hope you enjoyed finding out a bit more about the Taj Mahal. But honestly, it is worth coming to see it. It is boiling hot right now, even though it's almost seven, six o'clock. Um, but it definitely was worth the visit. So I think now we are going to head back to the hotel because it's really, really warm. Chill out for a bit and then probably go out for dinner. So guys, this is the last view of the Taj Mahal and those were the pillars I was talking about. See, they're tilted. They look completely straight, but they are tilted a little bit outwards. So I hope you enjoyed finding out a few facts about the Taj Mahal with me. And we're going to head back to the hotel now. So this is the little golf bunny that's going to take us back to the hotel, which is so cute. Hey guys, so we're back at the hotel now. I am super tired. It was so hot that I think it really, really drained us. So I think we're just gonna order some room service because my in-laws are really tired as well. And we're probably just gonna chill out in the room and then be ready for our spa day tomorrow. We we're gonna go and see a fort, but it's so hot that I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it. But I just wanted to show you, the room has had the turn down service. By the way, I look really weird in this light. I look a bit red, but excuse, my makeup must have probably melted from being in the 42 degree heat. But I just wanted to show you they've done such a beautiful turn down service let me turn the camera around so you guys can see they filled the whole bath with flower petals and these beautiful candles it looks so stunning i think i might be very tempted to go in for a bath in that lovely lovely rose petal bath and then in the room um they have put out a beautiful towel arrangement with the two swans it's so pretty and then they've given us this amazing cookie jar here i'm sorry the light is really rubbish here um and then we have this which i don't know what it is let me see what is this oh it's the weather forecast for tomorrow so yeah i think it's gonna be a bit cloudy tomorrow according to the weather forecast and unfortunately we can't see the Taj Mahal. I wanted to show you how it looked at night, but as you can see from the window, you can't really see anything. So anyway, guys, I think I'm gonna call it a night and I will see you in the morning. Bye. Hi everyone and good morning from Agra. It's about 10.15 this morning and we've just gotten ready and we're gonna go down for breakfast. I think today we're gonna to have a pretty chilled out day. It is really, really, really warm here. So I think we're gonna skip seeing the fort maybe because it's just too hot. Like yesterday when we went to the Taj Mahal, it was so hot, it was almost unbearable. Like we couldn't walk. Um, we were literally like dripping in sweat and it was in the evening. So we might do something in the evening, but it is my in-laws' anniversary. So we are gonna go for a very nice dinner that the hotel has very kindly hosted for us at the Indian restaurant they have downstairs so I'm excited for that I'm excited to eat some biryani which is my favorite Indian dish um, so we need to get ready for that in the evening so I think now we're just gonna take it easy maybe have some breakfast go to the spa and then probably head to the pool when it's a little bit less hot just because it's literally boiling right now but I thought I would quickly show you the view of the Taj Mahal this morning I don't know how much you can see behind me let me just switch my hand where is it Oh gosh, I lost it. Um, this is a bit of the view. You can see the pool back there. It looks so nice. Um, but wait, hold on. Let me turn the camera around so you can see the Taj Mahal. 
and there it is in the background guys the beautiful beautiful Taj Mahal it's so stunning honestly I mean it's a bit sad that the trees are kind of just there so you can't really see it so well because it's a bit covered up by the trees but it's honestly so so beautiful honestly I think the best thing about this hotel is the view anyway guys so I'm gonna head down to breakfast and I'll catch up with you in a little bit Hey guys, so we've just finished breakfast. I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit of the day before we go. Oh my gosh, my face is looking really burnt. <laughs> I think it's the light. But um, we're quickly gonna go to change now to go to the spa in a little bit. But before that, I want to show you my outfit of the day. And I'm also gonna go because the hotel is very, very kindly. Let me show you their Kohinoura suite, which is like their presidential suite, which I think has some amazing views of the Taj and it's absolutely stunning. They very kindly let me do a little room tour for you guys so that you guys can see this hotel properly because it's just so nice. I thought it would be really lovely for you guys to see it. So today I'm wearing this romper that I got from Revolve. You guys must have seen it in my haul. If you haven't, I will link that on the screen now so you guys can have a watch. But I absolutely love it. It's so comfortable. It's in this kind of military green. Um, and it's just so comfy because it's really loose. Um, and I love this kind of lapel detail here with the v-neck. I think it really suits me. Um, and I love the little detail of the pockets and then the shorts. My face has completely gone. I don't know what's happened overnight. And then I'm wearing my Aquasura flats um, and then my Chanel sunglasses. So this was my outfit of the day for today. I didn't carry a bag downstairs for breakfast. Um, and then I'm just wearing my small um, Chanel earrings and my two Cartier bracelets. That's the love one and the Just and Claire. I think that's how you say it. Um, so yeah. And I've kept my makeup super, super simple. I'm not wearing any foundation. I'm literally just wearing the um, cream by Charlotte Tilbury, the one that um, gives you like a nicer skin color. I think it's called the Youth Glow. And then I'm just wearing my um, YSL liquid lipstick, um, which I love. It's like a peachy nude. And then um, that's it, a bit of eyebrows, a bit of eyeliner, and I'm done. So let's go see the room. Hey guys, so we've just come into the Kohino suite. I'm gonna do a little quick room tour for you guys so you guys can see it because it's absolutely stunning. Back there is the living room, but we'll go back there in a second. So here they have a little desk um, and writing area, and then they have two sofas here overlooking this beautiful window which looks out into the gardens of the rest of the hotel, which are absolutely stunning. And then down here we have a view of the pool, which looks amazing, even though it's boiling hot right now. Um, and it's all done in a very kind of classic Indian style. This is how the, um, they were just explaining to me, this is how the Maharaja's rooms would probably look in a palace. And this is the main bedroom. I love those round cushions there, they look so lush. Um, and then you've got a big TV there. And then here, you've got a view from your bed of the Taj Mahal guys that's the Taj Mahal and over there you have the Agra fort as well which is very small I'll pop out to the balcony and this is the second balcony out here um, going out from the main master bedroom and then behind the master bedroom you have a beautiful walk-in wardrobe with like these paneled walls um, and a nice big long mirror there Look at my legs, guys, they've become so white. I don't know what's happened to my fake tan overnight. <laughs> um, and then through here, I love these curtains. You've got the master bathroom, which is stunning. So you've got one sink on either side um, and beautiful natural light coming in from the window. So this must be absolutely amazing to do your makeup. Like this would be a dream come true for me if I had this in my house. And then you've got this massive standalone tub, which again is overlooking the Taj Mahal. So um, the room is kind of all basically centered around having everything sort of look into the Taj Mahal. And then you've got this amazing shower, which um, looks out into a private balcony. Look at that double door shower. And then you've got two sunbeds over there, which I guess when it's not as hot, maybe like October time, it would be really nice and pleasant to sit out there and sunbathe a little bit. Then we've got this table with these candles here. And then in here, you have the loo in a little separate room. 
And then if we go back here again, we have another walk-in wardrobe over here with all the drawers and lots of hanging space. I mean, I wish my house was this big. Um, and then you've got another little writing desk there with the table. And then from here, you go back into the main living room. So this is like the first thing you step into when you walk into the room. And you have like two sets of sofas here. Um, and then this massive central window. Um, looking into a balcony that again looks like the Taj Mahal. So I'm just going to step out here quickly, guys, so you guys can see it. Sorry about putting my finger in front of the camera. And look at this view, guys. The balcony is really humongous, and you have just the most amazing view of the hotel. side and then I love this chess table that we have over here um, very kind of classic and look at the decor it's so beautiful and then through here we have the dining room where you can entertain lots and lots of guests um, I guess this is obviously for like high profile people which might entertain their room and again a view of the gardens which you have pretty much everywhere Hey guys, so I've just changed into, um, sorry about the mess behind me, just changed into this robe and they're so cool, they're like not like normal bathrobes, they're like these um, cotton ones with these beautiful prints on them and it's more like a kimono actually, um, let me see if I can show you in the mirror. So yeah, as you can see it's more like a kimono than a um, bathroom and we're just going to head over to the spa now and I'm going to get a body wrap and a clay um, cleanse of my body which is meant to like nourish your skin and firm it up and then I'm gonna get a little massage so I'm super excited So I'm just back from the spa, sorry I'm looking awful, um, but it, um, sorry my hair is such a mess, um, but I had the best treatment you guys, I had like a, first I went into the steam room and I had a really nice kind of, uh, I was there for about 15 minutes, that really opened my pores and then after that I had a scrub which was amazing, like all over my body, my feet, my hands, it was so nice and then after that um, I showered, they had like a really lovely shower there. And then I had a body wrap and they put like clay to make the skin like firm up and draw out all the impurities and then I was wrapped in a plastic wrap and while I was wrapped in the plastic I had an amazing head massage, hence why my head is looking such a mess. Um, and then I had an amazing relaxing back massage with like aromatherapy oils. And that was so nice. I actually fell asleep, you guys. But yeah, it was so nice. I think now we're gonna get some really quick light lunch. I'm probably just gonna have some grilled veg because I had a pretty hefty breakfast. I had eggs benedict, which were absolutely yum. Um, and then I think we're just gonna maybe go to the pool for a little bit and then I'm gonna try and sort out this mop on my head and get ready for dinner. Hey guys, so um, I just got quickly ready. That spa was so nice and relaxing. We didn't end up going to the pool because it was just too hot. So we chilled out for a little bit. Then I did a bit of work, um, which was not that exciting. And now we're heading down for dinner to celebrate my in-laws' anniversary. So I'll just quickly show you my outfit of the night. By the way, my makeup has turned out pretty good again. I think the light is so good here because I do it in front of the window and it was still light when I did my makeup. So um, yeah, and I'm going for these kind of, I think the camera is really not picking it up, but I'm going for like a really bare um, look on the bottom, like I'm not wearing any eyeliner on the bottom, I'm just wearing a little bit of brown shadow, but a very light one, and just a bit of mascara on my eyelashes, and the camera is making it look like I'm wearing eyeliner, but on the bottom lashes I'm going for like a really bronzed kind of liner, which looks like basically like I'm wearing nothing, um, and I'm really liking the look, but I'll quickly show you my outfit of the day. So it's quite a casual dinner, we didn't want to dress up too much, so I'm wearing 
this top by Extract and Pano, which is from, uh, I think, last summer. And then my trusty trousers from Carolina Herrera and my um, shoes from Aquazura. I'm wearing flats because I couldn't be bothered with heels. And then my Gucci bag, which is the one I brought on this trip. Um, but yeah, I think it looks very casual, but still quite polished. So um, I'm gonna head for dinner and I'll see you in a bit. Um, so we've just come back from having dinner and it was such a yum meal. I'm super stuffed right now. The food baby is real, you guys. Um, but it was so nice. We had um, this really amazing quail in a curry. It was so nice. And then we had the um, biryani, which is my favorite. We had a lamb one and a chicken one. So we really overindulged. But it was so, so yum. And then the hotel was so kind. They brought us a cake, which was really lovely to celebrate my um, in-laws' anniversary. And I think now we are just going to change into our pizza. Jay's wash my face because tomorrow morning we're going back to Delhi and I think we're going to go quite early so yeah I think we're going to get some sleep and then tomorrow's just going to be like a family day and then we're going to go for dinner again to celebrate with the family in Delhi um, their anniversary and we're going to go to a really nice place called Indian Accent which I've wanted to try out for a really long time but it's impossible to get booking so we're finally going to go so I will see you guys in the morning I was just gonna go to bed, but I just wanted to show you this. How sweet is this, guys? They put this good night thing here in the room with rose petals. It's been so cute. And then here, they've given us a um, souvenir, um, which is so, so kind of the hotel. I think it's like a little lamp. This like lights up, you can put a tea light inside and it lights up and it's got like all the um, Taj Mahal and the skyline of Agra. So cute. Anyway, I'm going to bed now. Good night. Good morning guys, so today is our final day here, we have just finished packing up and I've got like super minimal makeup, I'm no, not wearing any foundation actually, I'm just wearing that um, cream from Charlotte Tilbury, I'm literally wearing like almost no concealer as well and I just love how it makes my skin look, it looks so glowy, I think the Terry by Terry Cellular Rose um, is quite similar. It gives you like a very bronzy kind of glow, but I really like this one by Charlotte Tilbury because it's not too oily as well and it doesn't kind of break me out. But anyway, enough about makeup. We're just going to pop down stairs and have a little bit of breakfast and then we're going to head back to Delhi. So I'll see you in a little bit. guys so it's a lot later in the day and as you can see I've got a full face of makeup now because we're ready to go out for dinner we basically just reached Delhi and we just crashed we were so tired I went to sleep for I think two hours because I was so tired and then I did a bit of work and then basically I just got ready um, and now we're ready to go out for dinner and I'm so excited because like I told you it's like a fusion Indian um, Western food place and we've been wanting to try it for ages so I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit of the day and then we're gonna head out so I am wearing this t-shirt by Victoria Beckham and these shorts I got from Balmain in the sale and they are the tweed shorts they've got the gold buttons here and they are in like a uh, navy blue and a lighter blue and they are so nice I feel like I'm gonna get so much wear out of these because you can definitely dress them up or down then they've got pockets here um, but not really like to put your hands in but then they've got the lovely um, buttons here on the side and then I'm wearing my new Jan Vito Rossi shoes and my trusty Bulgari Serpenti bag and then I've got the jewelry my um, Dior tribal earrings um, and that's pretty much it and then my watch and my Cartier bracelet I don't remember the name of this one um, but yeah basically this is my outfit of the day I don't know if I really love them with this t-shirt I think maybe with a top they would look really nice as well for dinner, but I didn't really have one that went with them. But do let me know in the comments below what suggestions you have for me to pair these shorts. But I absolutely love them. And they were actually, I think, 50% off on the sale, so I got them at really good price. So I'm just going to show you from here so that you can see properly what it all looks like together. And yeah, now we're going to head out to dinner, so I'll see you in a little bit, guys. Bye!
guys, so we've just come back home. We had the most amazing dinner. I've inserted some clips um, of the food we had and it was so amazing. It was so yummy, first of all, and secondly, the dishes were so beautifully presented. We had one that was in like a little mini pressure cooker, which looked like a toy one. It was so nice. The food was like really fusion-y food, so it was like Indian food, but it had a lot of like Western ingredients mixed in, but then it had a very Indian taste. It was so yum. They had even like some street food. They had this thing, which is called um, Bani Puris, and you um, and they were like mini ones and you could fill them in with different fillings it was so yum honestly if you ever come to Delhi I would definitely recommend going to Indian accent because it was an amazing experience um, and just the presentation we had the chef's tasting menu and there was just I think it's the first time I've had a chef's tasting menu and I've liked every single thing on the menu so um, anyway we had a lovely time um, we had a little second cake celebration with my in-laws for their anniversary but it was so lovely to spend time with family and I will come back home I am just gonna take my makeup off and I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because tomorrow morning we're flying back to London so thank you so so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this little mini trip to Delhi and Agra with me um, and enjoy so much lovely food and um, I will see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe and to check out my Instagram and I'll see you next time bye